Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use OKR in Fibery. Uh, here we have like an empty fiber right now. Let's go to a uh, new app, start with the template, and we just install OKR application. It takes a couple of seconds. And here is it in left menu. You see a readme document that explains how OKR really works. And we have some demo data. For example, we have several objectives by quarter. And let's open uh, some objectives. For example, we want to, uh, let's say, make our development team stronger. And we have like key results for it, like higher 10 developers, hire one CTO, maybe do 10 deployments per day. And as you see, uh, we can track a progress of our objective. And let's open, for example, some key results like higher tier developers. You see that we have like initial value, target value, and current value. Uh, so most likely uh, we started from, let's say, 34 developers. Now we want to add 10 more, so we'll have 44. And our current value is uh, 38. So our progress is 40% right now. Okay, And that's how we can measure progress for your key results. They should be measurable. Uh, so you can quickly overview your objectives and uh, progress uh, for each objective. Okay, And then you can track your occur in more details. So here you have like uh, all objective as links. And you see that CTO is already hired, so it's completed. And for example, these two are still in progress. And uh, this key result is like 9% done, and this 40% done. And you can even see a fancy report that takes time to load initially. That shows like uh, all current objectives and all key results uh, in a single screen. And let's say if we achieve 60%, maybe we treat this as a good key result. So we have like good lane here. And uh, all our key results for all objectives are there. OK, uh, Okay, it's demo data. So we you can maybe just uh, delete it and start from scratch. So I click Configure app. And I can delete uh, all sample data inside the application. So let's do that. And as you see, it's just like uh, empty boards. OK, so we are going to plan our next quarter. So let's add maybe uh, one objective. Uh, let's say increase MRR from 2 to 10 K per month. OK. And now, so let's say, uh, improve R&D team. Uh, so this one is pretty clear. So we most likely will just add, add one key result here. So it just like uh, uh, you can just repeat what we mentioned here. And uh, let's say uh, what our initial value, let's say we have 2K right now, our target value is 10, uh, and our current value, again, 2. So we did nothing to improve it, really. So our progress is 0. OK. And improve R&D team is more tricky. Let's say we want to hire four developers. And let's say hire a CTO. Again, uh, currently, let's say we have three developers. Our target value will be seven, and current three as well. OK. And uh, let's say we don't have CTO, basically, so it will be like that. OK, so these are our two objectives. You definitely can like put some text here, but uh, I will just skip it to save time. And so on this screen, you can see your objective by quarters. And here you see, again, your key results uh, and progress for each key result. And on the chart, we see, like, uh, uh, I should refresh it. 
we see that there are no progress uh, for this key result at all. Okay, uh, but most likely you want to dig deeper and uh, plan some initiatives uh, to reach your objectives. And uh, as you see, there are no initiatives yet. So we can customize uh, this application. Let's click configure. So we see objective and list of key results. And we want to split objective to initiative. So we have to add a new type and call it initiative. Let make it let make it blue. Fix some spelling. Okay. So what field initiative will have? Basically, it will be maybe description. Most likely, we want to like uh, plan date. Uh, plan it, and it will be like start and end dates. So we want to plan this initiative to some time frame. And we want to assign people to the initiative, definitely. And most likely to have a workflow, like open progress done, things like that. And uh, definitely we want to link initiative to objectives. So we can add a relation and select objective. And initiative will have only one objective and objective will have many initiatives. So we'll add this relation. And you see that it appeared here. And now we can try to split uh, any, every objective to initiatives. So if we get back uh, and open our uh, objective by quarter, here is it. And you can add now initiative to objectives. Like, uh, what can we do to increase our MRR? Well, most likely we can improve getting started experience. And maybe we want to uh, try AdWords channel since we didn't run an ads yet. Uh, and most likely if we have, let's say, high churn, maybe we want to create a customer success uh, team to reduce churn. So maybe form a customer Success team. Okay, so we have three initiative initiatives to reach this goal, this objective. And um, for another objective, we can like uh, uh, so. What initiative we should have? It's kind of obvious. Uh, it should be like uh, uh, higher CTO. It's just like uh, very similar to key results. And maybe we don't have uh, any recruiters, so maybe we should hire a recruiter as well to speed up our developers hiring process. And then it will be like hire for developers. You can be more creative and maybe split it to like uh, run hiring campaigns, things like that, but we keep it simple so far. Okay, so you have like three initiatives here as well. And uh, we see all our initiative by states, but most likely you want to plan them on the timeline. So let's add a view for that. So we'll add a timeline view and we'll uh, show initiative. For initiative, we'll stay, we'll show planning start date, planning end date, and lanes will be objectives. Okay. So you see that our objectives are there, but initiatives are not. So we can just start to plan. Let's say we plan for today. This one, this one, and this one as well. Uh, so what we will start from? Higher CTO, uh, not like that. So maybe we should hire a recruiter first, and uh, then we'll focus on like developers hiring. Okay. And I think it will take us uh, at least a week to do. And uh, only then we can do that. But hiring CTO is very important, so we'll just spend a couple of weeks looking for CTO, okay? And increase MRR. So again, we have several unplanned initiative. Uh, so, okay, so 
improve getting start experience will take time and we will start just next week for example and most likely it will take us let's say a month to do try AdWords campaign well maybe it will wait till January and uh, for a customer experience team is really important but most likely a record will help us so we postpone this task I think to January as well and it will be a lengthy task for a month or so okay so we can really plan our initiatives and uh, uh, start from high level objectives and dig deeper to initiatives and we can display some fields here let's say we want to see it planned and so on and so later we can assign this initiative to exact people and even break this initiative to tasks um, to track like uh, execution on a low level and have accumulated uh, progress uh, from bottom up to top down okay and so you can track like every uh, objective as well right there so let's say you have this objective and we have a list of key results for this objective and we, more, we may want to see all initiatives for this objective as well okay so we create this table view and configure some fields like uh, let's say plant and current status maybe assign assigned people as well so you can like add new uh, initiatives right there uh, assign people and do uh, various plant activities so uh, we quickly built our first like um, uh, objective key result tracker and adopted it to our company with help of initiative and I forgot to rename this timeline it will be like initiatives plan okay how is it